The earnings per share, or EPS, is mentioned a lot when it comes to a business, but what does it actually mean? In this video, we want to define EPS, understand what it means and how it's calculated. We'll then build on this understanding through further explanation and getting to the core of why it's important. Earnings per share is calculated as a company's profit divided by the outstanding shares of the common stock in circulation. This basically means what the company makes in profit divided by the number of shares it has. This is a key indicator of profitability. Sometimes it is common for a company to report EPS, which is adjusted for extraordinary items and potential share dilution. We'll explain this more later. What's important to understand is the higher a company's EPS, the more profitable it is. EPS is the profit divided by the number of common shares. To calculate the profit, we take the preferred dividend away from the net income. The net income comes from the income statement and the preferred dividend is the sum of all the dividends that the company must contractually pay to holders of preferred stock, the more risk adverse equity holders. On the bottom line, we have the total number of common shares outstanding. These are common stock holdings of equity holders. From this calculation, we know how much profit the company is earning for each share it has issued. The formula we just learned is the basic EPS, which does not factor in the dilutive effect of shares that could be issued by the company. When the capital structure of a company includes items such as stock options, warrants, or restricted stock units, an investor runs the risk of assuming that none of these options will be exercised. However, if exercised, the number of shares will increase and the EPS will fall. The diluted EPS assumed that all the shares that could be outstanding have been issued to give investors a worst case scenario in the case of option exercise. The earnings per share metric is one of the most important variables in determining a share's price. It is also a major component used to calculate the price to earnings PE valuation ratio, where the E in PE refers to EPS. By dividing a company's share price by its earnings per share, an investor can see the value of a stock in terms of how much the market is willing to pay for each dollar of earnings. EPS is one of the many indicators you can use to pick stocks. Comparing EPS in absolute terms may not have much meaning to investors because ordinary shareholders do not have direct access to the earnings. Instead, investors will compare EPS with the share price of the stock to determine the value of the earnings and how investors feel about future growth. Summarizing this video, we hope you've learned a few key things. Earnings per share is a company's profit divided by the number of common stock shares it has outstanding. EPS shows how much money a company makes for each share of its stock. A higher EPS indicates more value because investors will pay more for a company with higher profits. EPS can be calculated in various ways, such as excluding extraordinary items or discontinued operations or on a diluted basis.